present Kenneth Williams, Clement Freud, Barry Took and Peter Cook in just a minute. And as the minute waltz fades away, here to tell you about it is our chairman, Nicholas Parsons. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome once again to Just a Minute. And as you've just heard, we have two guests this week, a cook and a took, and they're going to cake on our two regulars, uh, Kenneth Williams and Clement Freud. But we're a great pleasure to welcome Barry Took and Peter Cook. And as usual, they're going to try and speak for just a minute. You didn't bother with that. Save it for later. Uh, if they can, on the subject that I will give them without hesitation, without repetition, and without deviating from the subject. And we're going to begin the show this week with Kenneth Williams, and it is My Other Self. Kenneth, can you tell us something about my other self in 60 seconds, starting now? My other self, or alt... And uh, Peter Cook has challenged right away. Peter. <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd better get in early, uh, because uh, <laughs> otherwise I might not be noticed, and I have to bring up the possibility of deviation here. Yeah. Uh, the uh, other mean, self, uh, which has been talked about, which self is he talking about, and has he deviated yeah. from himself while he was talking about himself? <laughs> <laughs> well, the only deviation that's occurred is the fellow never even started. It's the first time anybody's buzzed within the first second since the series started many years ago. So it was a wrong challenge, Peter, but nice to hear from you, and the... Listeners now know you're here as well and didn't miss your bus. I uh, thought he did awfully well then. Yes, and that was Barry Took. And um, <laughs> Kenneth Williams still has the subject with a point for a wrong challenge, of course. Perfect. And there are 58 seconds on my other self starting now. It is the side few people ever see. I closely guard this private person because all of us do cherish some secret feeling which we feel if it were to be uh, Barry Took has challenged. Well, I thought he was going on alarmingly. <laughs> I mean, it was feel and feeling, and it was, he's getting all emotional about himself. Yes, but you can still be emotional. That's not deviation in just a minute. Kenneth, you have 42 seconds to continue with my other self, starting now. It was Emerson, I believe, who said, we have as many personalities as we have friends. Mine, consequently, are varied and extraordinary. Many times people say, well, we saw a side of you we didn't know existed. Oh, how wonderful it was to have the curtain, or the veil, as it were, lifted on your proclivities. <laughs> we do like to see this kind of thing. And, of course, it is true that when we do see something which we didn't think... Uh, Peter Cook, a challenge. There's a constant stream of wee-wees. <laughs> <laughs> That's repetition. Um, that was repetition, yes. And uh, as it's your the guest, and you haven't ever played the game before, Barry took, did play once in the last series. Um, uh, Peter, I give you the uh, correct challenge, a point for that, of course, and there are nine seconds left on my other self starting now. I like to think my other self is still where I always used to keep it, on my mother's shelf. She believes that that part of me that she adores... <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ian Messeter blows his whistle after 60 seconds and whoever is speaking at that moment gets an extra point. And on this occasion it was our guest, Peter Cook. So he's got two points in that round and Kenneth Williams got two points and they're equal in the lead. And you needn't clap because it's not really worth it. <laughs> uh, Clement Freud's going to begin the next round and the subject is the one I sit next to. Clement, can you tell us something... <laughs> Uh, for the sake of the listeners, it was a very sardonic look from Clement towards Kenneth Williams, uh, which got the laugh. Uh, 60 seconds, Clement starting now. Can I begin by saying good evening? And I didn't come late. I just didn't get in on the last round. The one I sit next to is the only man with a duosyllabic surname among the four of us on the team. And his name is Kenneth Williams, actor, journeyman performer, comes all the way from Great Portland Street... Thin, balding, hard of hearing, eagle-eyed, bad feet. Uh, Kenneth Williams. Deviation, I'm not balding. Yes, I quite agree. <laughs> you were very slow there, Kenneth. Well, I don't even come, I mean, I come to, you see, in the middle of it, in the yes. preparation, you see. Because otherwise all, all this ding. audience would think that would be a top piece oh, you've got, wouldn't balding. they? Balding. Well, I'm not balding. No. <laughs> 
I mean, you ask them. You ask them, Nick. You no, ask them. No, ask them to give a little tug. Do I look bald in... <laughs> oh, they said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, well, I agree. Lot, you are not balding. Well preserved for your years, on your top piece as well as mm. elsewhere. Mm. There are 31 seconds on uh, the one I sit next to, starting now. He is, of course, as you all know, the Liberal MP for Ely. The I... Uh, Clement Freud has <laughs> challenged. <laughs> he was going to correct himself. It's the Isle of Ely. Well, I was going to say that. Oh. I mean, you Give took him the words point. right no, out of my mouth. I think that uh, I'm sure that some he people... He took the words out of my mouth. Yes, I think. He don't did. know where they've been. <laughs> I think some people colloquially might refer to as that. I know, I know correctly it is the Isle of Ely. So we leave it with Kenneth with a point for wrong challenge and 25 seconds left starting now. And a great pleasure it has been for me over the years to sit next to a man of such distinction and such academic excellence. It is unusual in an age noted for its illiteracy and stupidity to find this kind of rich repository. I have therefore made use of it on more than one occasion and have gone to him um, humbly. Peter Cook has challenged. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about him and then you referred to him as it. <laughs> <laughs> He's either an it or a him. <laughs> A very good challenge of deviation, Peter. And there are, you've got him with three seconds to go. And you've got somebody in that audience who keeps trying to clap every time I mention your name. <laughs> and not only that, she keeps moving as well, so you've got someone running around. Uh, three seconds, Peter, on the one I sit next to, starting now. The lonely clapper is the lady... Who? <laughs> <laughs> Peter Cook, our guest, got in again just before the whistle went and spoke as he did so and got that extra point, and he's still in the lead, but alongside Kenneth Williams. They're the only ones to score so far. Uh, Barry Took, will you take the next round? The subject is The Thing in My Attic. Can you tell us something about that in just a minute, starting now? The Thing in My Attic oh. turned out to be as soft and as pink as a nursery. I didn't know what it was for many years, and I didn't like to go up there and look because I had a horrible suspicion it might be Kenneth Williams. But then again, I thought, well, if I go up and peer about the place, it might be furry and dark with things hanging off it and a hint of verdigris in the twilight. And I wouldn't like to really come face to face with something that I wotted not of. Uh, Clement Freud. Repetition of face. Yes, oh, face to face. Strange. Unfortunately, yes, but... Uh, uh, it's hard to do it on your own, you know. I know a lot of people have discovered that, not only in just oh, a minute. Please. <laughs> um, Clement, you have 30 and a one-half seconds on the thing in my attic, starting now. 